Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I want to share with you guys some really easy hacks and quick ideas you can use using picture frames or frames from a thrift store. Uh, some of them are actually cheaper than the dollar started with this video I just want to show you that there was so many different frame options I ended up actually going to I want to say it's like a Goodwill outlet so the prices on the frames and items were actually lower than what they said so this frame I actually picked up two of these they were exactly the same and these were a dollar 29 I want to say a dollar 29 so they were a really good size and I wanted to do some chalk couture on glass I have actually never done that before so I did wipe this down really really nice because it was filthy so just used a little bit of window cleaner and it was as shiny as I could possibly get it uh, the white frame was white but it did have just a little bit of dings so I did just give it another coat of this Waverly chalk paint in white So now I'm going to be laying my chalk couture transfer over the top. I love this one. It has a love definition and I'm just going to be using the black chalk paste. It's actually called velvet chalk paste to go over the top of this. And this was actually perfect. The transfer actually looked a lot larger, but honestly, once you put it down, it's not as big as what it seems. Um, and I'm just smoothing all the air bubbles out so I don't have any mistakes or mess ups. So that is what I'm doing here. And then, like I said, I'm just going to be putting the velvet chalk paste over the top. my favorite part about using chalk couture is the reveal and I am obsessed with this I just ended up putting the frame back together without the back on it so you could see this through and I've honestly never done a whole lot with frames or glass before uh, I'm obsessed with this I did end up using some hot glue and then it ended up falling apart so you definitely want to use like some e6000 or some super glue and that works great but this is what it looks like when it is done and I love it frame was actually a dollar 49 or a dollar 29 as well uh, everything was under three dollars so it was really awesome uh, this frame right here I knew this was gonna be a pain a lot of these were honestly a pain to tear apart um, it had like backing on it a ton of tape uh, obviously like you're not supposed to rip these frames apart it's for decor but it's kind of like fun to see what's underneath all of this like all of this <laughs> um so yeah there's a lot of cardboard there was a ton of staples and I pulled all of these staples out these with some needle nose pliers and yes like this hurt my hands this tape was honestly one of the stickiest tapes I ended up not taking all of it off but honestly like once you you know flip it over put it on your wall you're not even going to see this I'm just using the Waverly chalk paint in moss to paint this entire thing and I did also paint the insides because I am not going to be putting a backing on this once it's dry Also be using this little hello sign. This is from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be painting it with the Waverly chalk paint in white and then I'm going to be going back in with the Waverly antique wax to just give it a little bit of distressing. frame was completely dry I took this sanding sponge I think this is also from Dollar Tree as well uh, I don't use this a ton but I did just want the frame to stress just a little bit because I always feel like if it's just one plain color like this it uh, it's a little bit boring uh, but I didn't want to paint anything over the top but I love the little edges and how that kind of like bubbles out a little bit uh, I think that is really cool 
I'm just going to be adding the hello sign to the bottom once that was dry as well with just some hot glue and it actually stayed really, really well. Um, I kind of wanted to turn this into like a wreath type form. I have a ton of other ideas that I want to do with frames. So if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below if you guys want some other ideas to use with frames because I feel like you can pick up frames absolutely anywhere. I just really liked picking up at thrift stores because you can get large frames for the same cost as the Dollar Tree. Uh, I know some of them are more pricier, obviously, but uh, sometimes there are some really great deals. And then I'm just using some of these little peach colored roses from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to be adding some lamb's ear. And I just kind of ripped the leaves apart so I could add them the way I wanted them to. Uh, and those are from Walmart. That's all I did for this. You can hang this on your wall. You could hang this on your door. Uh, right now, it is just too cool to hang anything outside right now or have any type of decor, but I think this is so pretty. You could also even hang it and put a picture in the center. There's just so many things you could do with this, and I, I love this. This frame I know for sure was a dollar forty nine. Um, I'm just using my scissors to pull back the staples. That's how so many of these frames were. They had these staples. I do not like using these staples at all. Like they just hurt my fingers. And there was so many of them on this. Uh, I this picture went. I'm sorry to anybody who likes that type of uh, things, but. It had to go for sure. And now I'm just painting it with the Waverly chalk paint in white. And then I am going to distress it with a little, a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit, a little bit with the sanding sponge. Uh, like I said, I don't like my uh, frames plain. So uh, do as you please with your frames, your frame color, uh, whatever you want to do. But uh, you guys are going to like this one when it's all done because that's not all I'm doing. I'm not just painting it as you're seeing right now. I picked up a ton of scrapbook paper. This is what it came with. It was from Hobby Lobby. I think it was $8 and then 50% off. So it was four bucks for like 50 sheets of scrapbook paper. And I'm just gonna be using the glass as a pattern for me because I'm gonna be adding some scrapbook paper to the back of the frame. here was cardboard. I'm using my amazing Elmer's glue stick. I actually did not know if I would like using like the purple glue stick for the longest time, but I actually really do like it because you can see where you glue. I love it. So I just chose this white shiplap type scrapbook paper for the back of this. Once I was done with that, waited for it to dry, waited for it to dry. I need to like stop for one second till I can get my words together. All right, so here I am using the sanding sponge once again, like I said, to distress it just a little bit. Um, yeah, like I said, you don't have to do this, but I love like the little edges that are around the frame and I kind of like to show them off just a little bit and it is my style. So if it's not your style, definitely don't do what I'm doing. This basket was $1.49 from Goodwill and the pink stickers at the little Goodwill outlet, I think that's what it's called. Um, that is just the regular price. I tried staple gutting this, but my staples was, I don't know why I tried that. It doesn't work. Don't do it if you're using a basket. <laughs> it didn't work at all. So I just went in with my Sherbonder glue gun and glued this basket to the frame. And then I just added some florals from Walmart. one this 
frame was actually 79 cents. It was so inexpensive. And here we go with these staples once again. I love looking at the full price of some of these frames because I think this one was actually like $15 or $18. And some of the other ones were like $28.99. It's so crazy how expensive frames are when you buy them at full price. Uh, so I'm just going to be painting this in the Waverly chalk paint in white. And now I'm going to be adding these half wood beads. I think I got these on the Walmart site. They're not from Walmart. I normally pick them up on Amazon and I will link them from Amazon. These are a lot larger than what I normally use. Uh, so I'll try to find a bunch of different sizes for you guys. But I love using the half wood beads because they always just decorate up things just a little bit nicer. Uh, I thought about painting these white and then I was like, man, why did I paint the frame white first and then these half wood beads but I totally was just like you know what like we're gonna go with this and then I'm just gonna be distressing the frame and I'm just gonna be using that Waverly antique wax and I always forget that some people uh, their Walmart does not carry the Waverly anymore and I'm sure you can pick this up at Hobby Lobby I know they still have like folk art chalk paint and things like that so I'm sure somebody makes this somewhere <laughs> Um, I was just lucky that my Walmart did not get rid of any type of Waverly. So this is the frame that went around or the mat. I think it's called a mat that went around the frame. Uh, and I'm just using the antique wax once again to paint this. And then I'm just going to put it back together and put a picture inside here. So my daughter's actually going to be six this year. And this is a picture of her when she just turned one years old. Uh, that is how much I do not get pictures made. Uh, which is a little silly. I definitely need to update pictures, but I love this. I think this turned out so cute for a 79 cent frame. This frame idea, these were $2.99 from Goodwill. They're, they were brand new from Target. We get a lot of Target clearance at our Goodwill at times, and you really just have to run in at the right time. Sometimes we even get like TJ Maxx, uh, like discontinued items, and it's actually a lot cheaper sometimes than actually the used items, which is kind of weird. But uh, these frames were originally priced at $15 and then marked down. I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree calendars. These calendars are so cute. Like they're really cute. And then I never know what to do with them. But I think using frames are a great idea, especially when you can pick frames up for super inexpensive, pick up a Dollar Tree calendar, rip some of the pieces out, measure it down to the size of the frame, and then slip them in and you have brand new artwork. I have two brand new pictures for $7, which is such a steal. Guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.